Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new week of lockdown. And it is Monday, the 11th of May. Lockdown day 46. So we've got an interesting one, something we haven't done for a very long time, where all you have to do is move 10,000 kilograms during the workout. You've got a whole choice of how you're going to do it. So you're going to choose one of the pulling exercises, one of the pushing exercises, and one of the squatting or other exercises to accumulate your 10,000 kilograms. So how it works is for argument's sake, if you choose your pull-ups and your body weight is 50 kilos, like I've got down here, you need 100 pull-ups at 50 kilos to give you 5,000 kilograms, which means you'll need to do 5,000 kilograms of something else to get the remainder of the 10,000 kilograms. But what we want to do is we want to spread the load. So no more than 10 reps at a time. And you must move between the various exercises. So if you choose cleans, and shoulder to overhead and a back squat that's cool do your maths to calculate your weights so if i'm cleaning 40 kilos okay work out how many reps you want to do to give you let's say 100 reps at 40 kilos kilos gives you 4,000 reps uh, 4,000 kilograms i need 6,000 kilos if i do the shoulder to overhead at the same weight it's going to give me another 4,000 kilos. Now I only have 2,000 kilos left and I can squat the 40 kilos uh, What is it? 50 reps will give me my 2,000 kilos But you can only do 10 reps at a time before moving to the next one Before moving to the next one and you cycle through it 10 reps at a time until you've accumulated all your reps So in your pulling exercises You've got pull-ups if you can't do the pull-ups, there's no pull-up equivalent unless you're doing the progressive pull-ups. Um, but there's, if you're going to go bent over rows, that's cool. Deadlifts or cleans. So whether you're using your odd object or your bar, remember your deadlifts are straight up and down. Then your bent over rows is just that movement there. And then the cleans, you can go power cleans. So whatever weight you're using, do the math to calculate it. If you're using a single implement, you'll just have to work out how many reps on the single implement and share it between the arms. If you're going push-ups, you know, dips, you know, shoulder to overhead, you can either do strict press, push press, push jerk all of those will apply along with your push-ups and your dips um, we've kind of gone push-ups and dips the same way we have with pull-ups assuming you're using your whole body weight don't get into pedantics and science and all of that if you weigh 75 kilos pretend you're doing a push-up at 75 kilos yeah. um, then we go into the squats again Front squats or back squats, just holding the weight in front of you. We are not adding body weight into the calculation. So whatever the weight is of your implement, that's the load we're worrying about. We're not adding body weight into the loaded movements. And then front squats, back squats, the burpees for those that don't really have a lot of equipment, that will take into account your body weight. So 10,000 burpees for a 100 kilo person is 1,000 burpees. I think 100 burpees. But you guys can do the maths. So there's simplified. It's move 10,000 kilos, one pull up pulling exercise, one pushing exercise, one squatting exercise, uh, no more than 10 reps at a time of each, and calculate how much you want to do within the the workout until you've accumulated 10,000 kilograms.
It's a good one. Get the new week started. We'll see you later.